Okay, moving to the next chapter and because we need to finalize that quickly, I'm using the same technique. I remind you that um, to find the sign diagram, uh, the first method we used was to uh, be given a, f a graph and then in that graph draw the sign diagram considering where my uh, graph is demonstrating above or below the x-axis. There are easy cases, there are complicated cases. I just remind you that in this case we had an asymptote at 1 and this is how we represent the asymptote with this dotted line. I want you to remember that, we're going to use it later. That's the one kind of exercises. The other kind of exercises is this, when they give you the uh, function without graph and they want you to draw a sign down. And there are again different methods or different activities, simple, a little bit more complicated, with odd, with even, all these different scenarios. But I want you to remember that in all these cases there was a function that didn't have denominator. So what's happening when we have a denominator? For example, when I have a function x plus 2 divided by x minus 1. x plus 2 divided by x minus 1. We will learn how to draw it and we have practiced that. Just a quick uh, presentation. This function x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 has this graph and if I'm allowed to sketch on the screen just quickly this is my asymptote at 1. What means that in my case? It means that I have to find and determine that asymptote through this function here. So this is the part that determines for me the asymptote. This is the part that tells me that x, when x equals 1, this whole function is undefined. There is no solution. There is no defined graph in this part. There is no graph, simple as this. So how I represent the undefined in my sign diagram? Like this, to demonstrate asymptote. And if I go up here, I will find where my roots are. So I have a root x equals minus 0, sorry, minus 2 what we usually say x plus 2 has a 0 when x equals minus 2 and I put my minus 2 here. So now the root and the asymptote both separate this nice sign diagram axis in three areas. Okay, so we have to use the same technique to determine what is the value. So let's say I'm going to choose something here, for example, minus one. And I say, let's x equals minus one. Let's see what's the sign there. 
minus 1 plus 2 over minus 1 minus 1 equals this on the top, minus 1 plus 2 equals 1. Minus 1 minus 1 equals minus 2. So all together is a negative 1 over 2. So this area is negative. So what's happening to this? Is it alternating or not? This has index power odd. So it will alternate. Therefore, this will be positive and this will be positive. If you want, give it a go. Try. What will happen if the value here is 2? Let's see. Let's my x is 2 plus 2. What will happen there? u plus 2 divided by 2 minus 1 equals 4 divided by 1. So it is larger than 0, so it is positive. Again, I'm repeating any way you do it, it's the same. You will have a go with the rest of the activities. Let's solve this as well. Again, we start the same way. We need to determine the area that it is not defined. So I'm writing here. This is undefined when x equals minus 3. I will do it in GeoGebra later so you can see. Okay. So what's happening here? I'm saying x, x plus 3, undefined in that case. What's happening here? Has 0 when x equals 0. So in my sign diagram, I need to put 0 and minus 3. Remember, undefined. What values we will put? Let's x equals something in between here. Let's have minus 1. So that becomes minus 1 over minus 1 plus 3, which is minus 1 over 2, which is smaller than 0, which is negative. And then here that will be positive, and here that will be positive. Let's confirm. My x this time is 1. So I will have 1. 1 plus 3 equals 1 over 4, larger than 0, positive. Many ways, always only one answer. Thank you.